All right, so today we are going to talk about Add Items to Cart API of Salesforce Industry CPQ Cart APIs. Add to Cart item basically adds any required product or any required child products to be added, which uh, we'll be covering later on. But today we are going to talk about to have only simple product to be added uh, using Add, uh, add Items to Cart. The method will be post cart item and we will be using as usual CPQ app handler class remote services in our integration procedure. I'll be talking about input parameter. So the in parameter for card base API, the method, if you can see the method will be post cart item. Cart ID is the cart ID means the object ID the this will be order ID or opportunity ID or quote ID so against which scenario we wanted to add the product uh, for that particular object that will be our choice for our demo we will be using create cart API response ID parameter item ID we will be the price book entry ID so we need to find the price book entry ID uh, of the product which is uh, once you create any product the price book uh, it will be added in the price book entry ID so that will be required so either we can use DR to get the uh, price book entry ID so you can see uh, include data raptor for getting this price book entry ID using using product code or any other parameter so that will be there fields to update is required how many quantities or recurring charge or one-time charge you wanted to add for that particular product so let's go to our demo what I'll be doing I'll be adding one remote action so this remote action name will be add to cart building this this will be my remote method all right so what i'm going to do i will take my input parameter so this is what I have created so I'll take directly this parameter add it as a JSON this will be my method name cart ID so cart ID will be coming response of the create card so create card response if you uh, know that there is an ID which is getting response from the create card ID so what I'll be doing going to do create card colon records dot ID that will be my ID this is price book entry ID so I'm setting up here in set account ID for price book entry ID so set account ID that will be my parameter I can change it to let's say quantity 2 that's it and then so this is my input create card record ID sec account ID price book entry ID and this is one time total which I have added as a hundred now what will happen it will first create one order against that order it will add one of my products so I have created one demo product which will be added in my order so in my order there is nothing as such as now the last one created is 122 what I'll do I will run integration procedure should create if you see it to 
cart and it has been added i will go to here so refresh it 123 order has been created i will go and if you see the demo product has been added for that particular order make sure this is the structure and these are the values which we need to pass upon 